day, fifth graders! Are you ready for another math adventure? Fantastic! In a world where math is a mystery, we need heroes to unlock the secrets of the unknown formula. We choose you to conquer the math universe. Show us your true power and join the Heroes League with me, Sir Ike, the professor. And be the next math hero here in Math-tastic 5! Math heroes, for today's lesson, you will learn how to add fractions and mix fractions without and with regrouping. Before we begin, let's revisit some skills that you will be needing for today's quest. Math heroes, when it's review time, there is only one math-tastic hero who's always ready to help you. It's the amazing Super Driller. It's me, the Super Driller. For today's drill, you need to find the LCM or least common multiples of the following numbers. You have five seconds to answer each item. Let's begin. Number one, three and four. The answer is 12. Number two, five and six. The answer is 30. Number 3, 8 and 10. The answer is 40. Number 4, 12 and 18. The answer is 36. Number 5, 15 and 20. The answer is 60. Did you get all the right answers? That's great! Math Math in a Day! Amazing math heroes! Coming up next is your favorite math adventure time. Super Kid Aliana needs her help again. Are you ready? Great! I'll now give you your favorite math-tastic hero who loves to tell stories. It's not a plane, it's not a bird, it's Super Math! I have traveled across the galaxy with a mission to share the most incredible stories to help you understand math better. Math heroes, let me tell you today's math adventure. Super Kid Eliana invited her classmates to their house after winning the math challenge. She plans to celebrate her success with her friends who help her in reviewing her lessons before the math competition. Super Kid Aliana wanted their celebration to be special, so she planned to decorate their house. Her mom told her that in order to do so, she needs to buy 3 tenths meter of white cloth and 2 tenths meter of blue cloth for the backdraft. Super Kid Aliana got confused with the numbers, how many meters of cloth she should buy in all. Let's find out and help Aliana count. There you go, Math Heroes! Another adventure with Super Math and Super Kid Aliana. Math Heroes, before we begin our discussion, let's review some basic mathematical terms we need today. You have learned beforehand that fractions are recognizable because they have two parts, a number above and a number at the bottom separated by a line in the middle called the fraction bar. In mathematical terms, the number above the fraction bar is called the numerator, and the bottom number is called the denominator. Numerator denotes how many of the parts we are taking. Denominator denotes how many equal parts the whole is divided into. You have also learned before that there are proper fractions, improper fractions, and mixed fractions. Can you still remember what are they? Let me help you. Proper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is smaller than its denominator. For example, 1 half. Improper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is equal to or greater than its denominator. For example, 4 thirds or 5 over 5. Mixed fraction is a fraction composed of a whole number and a fraction. 
For example, one and one half. Now, what is an LCD? An LCD is an acronym that stands for Least Common Denominator. The LCD must be a multiple of the given denominators. Remember, the common denominator must be divisible by the given denominators. Now going back to our story, let's apply the steps in solving word problems to help super kid Aliana. Step 1. Read and understand the problem. Let's begin with what is asked. In this case, the total length of cloth she needs to buy in meters. Number 2. What are the given facts? 3 tenths meter of white cloth and 2 tenths meter of blue cloth. Step 2. Plan. In order for us to solve this problem, we will use the rules in adding similar fractions. In this case, our number sentence is 3 tenths plus 2 tenths equals m. Step 3. Solve. To add similar fractions, follow these steps. Step 1. Add the numerators. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Step 2. Copy their common denominator, which is 10. Step 3. Reduce the answer to its simplest form if possible. To reduce 5 tenths, we divide the numerator and denominator by their greatest common factor. In this case, 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. So we have 1 half. Therefore, Super Kid Aliana needs to buy 1 half meter of cloth in all. There you go, math heroes! Aliana is now on her way to a clothing shop to buy one half meter of cloth with her mother. Thank you for helping our super kid today! Now, since you will be doing addition of fractions, you are introduced to the fact that groups of fractions in an expression can be similar or dissimilar. Similar fractions are fractions with same denominators. Meanwhile, dissimilar fractions are fractions with different denominators. Here's another example of adding fractions with common denominators. Super Driller, take it away. Hello, math heroes. Let's have a drill. Answer this by adding the fractions. 4 eighths plus 2 eighths equals n. Step 1. Since the fractions are similar, add the numerators. 4 plus 2 equals 6. Step 2. Copy their common denominator, which is 8. Step 3. Reduce the answer to its simplest form if possible. Divide the numerator and denominator by their greatest common factor, which is 2. Our final value is 3 fourths. Did you get the right answer? Great! Math math in a day! Math heroes, this time we will add fractions and mixed fractions with same denominator. In order to do that, follow these steps. For example, 2 sixths plus 2 and 1 sixth equals n. Step 1. Since the fraction is similar and there is only one mixed fraction, copy the whole number which is 2. Step 2. Add the numerators. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Step 3. Copy their common denominator which is 6. Step 4. Reduce the answer to its simplest form if possible. We have been taught earlier that the trick to reduce a fraction is to divide the numerator and denominator by their greatest common factor. In this case, the GCF is 3. If we reduce 3 sixths to its simplest form, we get 1 half. So our final value is 2 and 1 half. Super Driller, take it away! It's me, the Super Driller. Math heroes, let's answer this drill. 2 and 4 eighteenths plus 6 eighteenths equals n. Step 1. We copy the whole number. In this case, the whole number is 2. Step 2. Add the numerators. 4 plus 6 equals 10. Step 3. Copy their common denominator, which is 18. Step 4. Reduce the answer to its simplest form if possible. If we reduce 10 eighteenths to its simplest form, we divide the numerator and denominator by their GCF, which is 2. Therefore, our final answer is 2 and 5 ninths. See you in your next drill, math heroes. Math, math in a day!
Math heroes, this time we will add mixed fractions with same denominator. If both similar fractions are mixed, all you need to do is to group the whole numbers separately and add them. At the same time, add the numerators of the fractional parts separately and reduce the fraction to lowest term if possible. Take this as an example. 2 and 2 sixths plus 4 and 1 sixth equals n. Step 1. Group the whole numbers and add them. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Step 2. Add the numerators of the fraction. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Step 3. Copy their common denominator. In this case, 6. Step 4. Reduce the answer to its simplest form if possible. We can divide 3 6 by their GCF which is 3. 6 and 3 6 now becomes 6 and 1 half. Super Driller, take it away! It's me, the Super Driller. Answer this drill. 5 and 3 ninths plus 2 and 2 ninths equals n. Step 1. Group the whole numbers and add them. 5 plus 2 equals 7. Step 2. Add the numerators of the fraction. 3 plus 2 equals 5. Step 3. Copy their common denominator. The common denominator is 9. Therefore, our final answer is 7 and 5 ninths. Since the answer is already in its lowest term, we will no longer proceed with step 4. Math heroes, there's more coming up. Math math in a day! Math heroes, always remember that the main point of the lesson is that you can directly add fractions if they are similar. Having different denominators entail additional steps which leads us to our next lesson. This time, we will add fractions and mixed fractions with different denominators. Having different denominators is a challenge. In order to derive their simplest forms, we need to do the following steps. Take this as an example. 1 half plus 1 fifth equals n. Step 1. Determine the least common denominator or the LCD. Since the denominators are not the same, we need to find the least common denominator or the LCD of 2 and 5. In this case, since both denominators are prime numbers, just multiply the denominators. Their product is their LCD. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. To check if the LCD is correct, we can do it by listing down all the possible multiples of the denominators and find what we call as the least common multiple or the LCM. Here are some of the multiples of 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. And here are some of the multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. The least common multiple or the LCM of 2 and 5 is 10. Therefore, 10 is our LCD. Step 2. Using the least common denominators, we name the dissimilar fractions as similar fractions. To do this, divide the LCD to the denominator and multiply the quotient to the numerator. Let's begin with 1 half. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5, times 1 is equal to 5, so our numerator is 5. This time, let's rename 1 fifth. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2, times 1 equals 2. Then, just copy their LCD, which is 10. Now we have new sets of fraction, 5 tenths plus 2 tenths. Since we have like fractions, we can now proceed to step 3. Step 3. Add the fractions. 5 tenths plus 2 tenths is equal to 7 tenths. Step 4. Reduce the answer to its simplest form if possible. In this case, 7 tenths is in its simplest form. Super Driller, your turn. Math heroes, you're doing good. Now, answer this. What is the sum of 1 half plus 1 fourth? Step 1. Determine the least common denominator. We need to find the least common denominator of 4 and 2. 4 is a multiple of 2, so 4 is going to be a good choice for a common denominator. Step 2. Using the least common denominator, rename the dissimilar fractions as similar fractions. Let's change 1 half into fourths. Divide the LCD, which is 4, by 2. And that gives us 2. Multiply it to the numerator 1. Our new numerator is 2. Now that we have like fractions, 2 fourths plus 1 fourth equals n, let's proceed to step 3. Step 3. Add the fractions. 2 fourths plus 1 fourth 
equals 3 fourths. In this case, 3 fourths is already in its simplest form. Math heroes, continue doing good. Math, math in a day. Math heroes, this time we will add mixed fractions with different denominators. Follow these steps. 5 and 1 third plus 1 and 4 fifths equals n. Step 1. Determine the least common denominator or the LCD. Using the least common denominator, rename the dissimilar fractions as similar fractions. Let's find the LCD of both the denominators. Since 3 and 5 are both prime numbers, let's get their product to get the LCD. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Step 2. Regroup the whole numbers and using the least common denominator, we name the dissimilar fractions as similar fractions. First, let's regroup 5 and 1 so we can easily deal with the dissimilar fractions. This time, we will rename 1 third using the LCD 15. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5 times 1 equals 5. That gives us a new numerator which is 5. Now, let's rename 4 fifths. 15 divided by 5 equals 3 times 4 equals 12. We now have like fractions. 5 fifteenths plus 12 fifteenths. Step 3. Add the whole numbers then the fractions. 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. Let's add the numerators. 5 plus 12 is equal to 17. Then, copy the LCD which is 15. Therefore, our answer is 6 and 17 over 15. In cases wherein after adding, the fractions become improper, wherein the numerators are either equal to or bigger than the denominators. They have to be simplified. However, if an improper fraction has a numerator that is larger than the denominator, it becomes a mixed fraction after it is simplified. In the given example, the sum is 6 and 17 over 15, in which case 17 over 15 is an improper fraction. Let's proceed to step 4. Simplify. Divide 17 by 15. Doing it, you will get a result of 1 remainder 2. Add 1 to 6 to make it 7, and the remainder 2 will be the new numerator. So, the simplified sum is 7 and 2 fifteenths. Math heroes, it's time for the final drill. Super Driller, take it away! Hello Math heroes, you are now in your final drill. Answer this one. 4 and 1 third plus 2 and 4 six equals n. The first thing you want to do is to regroup the whole numbers. After rearranging the parts, we see that we need to add the whole numbers 4 and 2 to get 6. We also need to add 1 third and 4 six. Since these are unlike fractions, we need to change the denominator. 6 is a multiple of 3, so 6 is a good choice for our LCD. This time, Let's convert 1 third using the LCD 6. 6 divided by 3 equals 2, times 1 equals 2. 2 is our new numerator. Copy the LCD which is 6. To begin solving, let's add the whole numbers. 4 plus 2 equals 6. 6 is our whole number. Now that we have like fractions, add the numerators. 2 plus 4 equals 6. Copy the denominator, which is 6. Our answer is 6 and 6 over 6. Notice that the numerator and denominator are the same. This is called an equivalent fraction. Equivalent fractions are equal to 1, so 6 over 6 equals 1. To get the final answer, we add 1 to the whole number, which is 6. 1 plus 6 equals 7. Therefore, our final answer is 7. Well done, math heroes. I will see you in your next drill. Math, math in a day. Congratulations, math heroes. You are getting closer to the finish line. This time, I'll give you to another math-tastic hero who always wonders if you mastered your skills. She is Wonder Woman. Hello math heroes, I heard you're all doing well. I wonder if you have mastered the skills. Hmm, let's see. Can you still remember the steps in adding similar fractions? Step number one, add the numerators. Step number two, copy their common denominator. 
Step number three, reduce the answer to its simplest form if possible. To add fractions and mixed fractions with the same denominator, follow these steps. Step number one, copy the whole number. Step number two, add the numerators. Step number three, copy their common denominator. Step number four, reduce the answer to its simplest form if possible. To add mixed fractions with the same denominator, follow these steps. Step number one, group the whole numbers and add them. Step number two, add the numerators of the fractions. Step number three, copy their common denominator. Step number four, reduce the answer to its simplest form if possible. Finally, to add fractions and mixed fractions with different denominators, here are the steps. Step number one, determine the least common denominator or the LCD. Step number two, get the equivalent fractions using the least common denominator or the LCD. Step number three, add the whole numbers, then the fractional parts. Step number four, reduce the answer to its simplest form whenever possible. Great job! All my wonders have been answered. See you again and remember, never lose your sense of wonder. Math Math in a Day! Math Heroes, it has been a great journey with you. But wait, there's more! To complete our Math-tastic 5, I'd like to give you your final Math-tastic hero. He always hides in the dark and looks for super kids in the math universe, doing their homeworks. Look around, he might be taking a picture of you. It's time for Photograph with Batman! After searching every corner of the universe, I present you the math hero of the day, Clyde John D. T. Jordan, Massville Elementary School, Paranaque City, District 1, Division of Paranaque City. Show us your true power by sending your picture while watching our Mathtastic 5 episodes in our Facebook page. Just search Mathtastic 5 or post your photos with a hashtag Mathtastic Hero and be featured in our next Mathtastic 5 episodes. Watch out for updates on the social media pages of DepEd TV channel. I am BatMath and I will find you. Math Heroes, I am proud of what you are becoming. Just continue working hard so you will someday become a math superhero just like us. Math Heroes, I am Sir Ike. The Professor, Math Classic 5, Assemble!